There are a couple of things that uh, Google searches reveal about sex. One is uh, the lack of sex. Uh, so the number one complaint in a marriage is that it's a sexless marriage, a uh, much more common search than loveless marriage or unhappy marriage. Uh, the number one complaint that everybody has about their partner, whether it's a husband, wife, boyfriend, or girlfriend, is that the partner won't have sex with me. Uh, that beats the second complaint that the partner won't text me back. And some of the searches are go against, a little against conventional wisdom. Uh, there are twice as many complaints uh, that my boyfriend won't have sex with me than that my girlfriend won't have sex with me. And I think we usually think, uh, you know, in, uh, the conventional wisdom is that uh, men want sex all the time and women are uh, more withholding or prudish. But uh, I think that uh, the data from Google goes against that. Uh, I think the other thing that is revealed in Google searches is widespread insecurity about one's body. Uh, and uh, with men, it tends to uh, focus on one particular area, which may not be so surprising. Maybe you could guess like where men might be more, most uh, insecure. It is their, uh, their uh, genital region. So men make more question, men ask more questions about their penis than any other body part on Google, uh, and basically always. Uh, how to make it uh, longer. And one of the top questions men ask about their penis is how big is my penis? Uh, which it's not clear why uh, they're asking Google that, right? Like, you need, that's not really the way to find out. Uh, but uh, it, some, some of it seems needless because for, a woman rarely search about a partner's uh, penis. Uh, for every 170 searches that a man makes about his own uh, penis, a woman makes uh, one about a partner's penis and, and women, when they're uh, complaining about a partner's uh, genitals, they're about as likely to complain that it's too big as too small, uh, even though like men never search on Google for ways to make it smaller. And then uh, women, not surprisingly, also have a lot of insecurity around their bodies. And uh, they make about uh, 7 million searches every year for breast implants, uh, only about 300,000 women actually get breast implants. So a lot more women uh, look into it than, than go through with it. And uh, women make almost as many searches insecure around their genitals as men do insecure around their own, around their genitals. And with women, the big insecurity, which I did not know, but I learned from this data is uh, odor. That's kind of like a big theme. Yeah, well, like uh, men and women are kind of in their own little world. Uh, in their own heads, I think. Uh, so men, their second biggest insecurity after their size is the length of their sexual encounters and premature ejaculation and how to make it last longer. And then women, uh, when they search, are frequently uh, looking how to make it go quicker. Uh, so it's kind of an interesting uh, contrast. Uh, again, I think uh, you do see that a lot of people are kind of stuck in their own heads and very insecure and anxious. Mm -hmm.